While a dip in energy prices in August is welcome news to European economies struggling with decades high inflation, the prospect of further price increases triggering central bank interest rate hikes is weighing on European market and consumer sentiment. According to Melanie De Bono, senior Europe economist at Pantheon Macroeconomics, an independent financial analysis firm. Annual inflation in the Eurozone area rose to 9.1 percent in August, up from 8.9 percent in July. Triple the rate from the previous year was surging energy costs as the main contributor. With energy costs slightly lower in August, the potential for double-digit inflation in the Eurozone has receded somewhat but cannot be ruled out. The good news in this earlier, the data earlier today was that the energy rate already started dipping in August, and we think this will continue. Uh, the bad news is that the core rate increase probably has further to run, especially given the reversal of one of factors that have depressed the rate since June in Germany. Um, however, although we see an increase in, in, in the inflation rate in the headline, uh, at the moment, our model doesn't point to double-digit rates, but of course, we can never rule it out. With no end in sight to the Russia-Ukraine conflict, energy shortages and how to manage them will be a central concern to European governments as the continent heads into winter. We think a recession in the Eurozone is the most likely scenario at this point. So real wages are falling as inflation has surged and wage growth has not been able to keep up. So we expect household spending to fall in Q3 and Q4. And we doubt that the fiscal measures that will be pushed through and that we expect to be pushed through will be enough to limit that. What's more, industry will be hit hard by energy rationing because it will probably be first asked to close in order to, preve to preserve heat uh, energy so that consumers can actually heat their homes over the winter.